as individual MPs, Thelma and I and others will have dealt with people who are neurodiverse over the years. And my first, um, my first constituent who I dealt with as a, as a case, if you like, in terms of representing her, was a 29-year-old woman who'd been um, assessed as, on, on the spectrum, assessed as Asperger's, basically, um, very late in life, um, not until she'd been an adult. So she'd gone through school with no additional support, no analysis, no assessment, gone through school with no additional support, and um, on the estate, the railway estate, it's a railway estate in the central Hayes where railway boat used to live, um, she, she was always looked upon as a, a strange person in the commas, because of her behaviour. So there was no understanding whatsoever. She struggled at school, and then um, her parents looked after her, and the family were under intense pressure, almost imploding, because of the situation, because of lack of support. So the family came, the mum and dad came to see me, and that was the first time, this was years and years ago, uh, so that's the first time I was dealt with an individual who had actually been diagnosed then. Um, and then you realise just what lack of support there is. Just, uh, just lack of support, lack of acknowledgement. And you also realise the struggles that people go through. And then my next case was uh, a young man on the spectrum who had been picked up by the police. And actually the police were trying to be as understanding as possible, but they didn't understand what was going on. Uh, and again, you discovered then that there's no training in the, uh, whole, in the early days of the public sector. There was no training in el elsewhere. So what that did is that we, I got convened various groups within the local community and, um, and so you, we could set up a support network of some sort. We've got a pretty good support network now, although a lot of the resources being pulled back by the government because of cuts, etc. So that was my first introduction to it. And then um, Janine was on the RMT uh, uh, exec. Austin was an activist in LRC and all the rest of it. And the we had a discussion around neurodiversity. And actually, that's the, the language was completely different then. Um, Janine started doing the, her courses and dragged me onto them to talk dribble at the beginning of them just to settle people down. And it went on from there. And then people started contacting us and said, actually, we need to try and get an understanding of the concept of neurodiversity alongside the concept of the definitions of disability as well. And Mitchell will come in on all this. And the whole point about it is to try and get across to people, people are not disabled, it's the world outside that is refusing mm -hmm. to adapt to enable people to fully participate in society. And that, that's the basic principle. You know, it is not a dis you know, there's no such thing as a disability. The disability comes from the very way in which we organise society to not accommodate the diversity that we have within society. What then happened is groups came together, Janine converted groups, Alison is here who did all the organisation, brought people together. We then had people drafting up the, there was a hell of a rush, uh, the Neurodiversity Manifesto. We then got, for the first time ever, a political party to put in this manifesto. Yeah. Last year, getting that in the manifesto you know, I could cry. When that went through the, the formal process of the Labour Party, it was a huge breakthrough, really. And it just gave us all a lot of hope. At least there was... A, and this is party political, because I've heard nothing from anyone else. At least there was one party that was taking this issue seriously, put it in their manifesto, and now it's a promise to do something about it. So what we've got to do now, and this is for party members, if you're not a party member, well, you've got to join, you have responsibility to. Um, <laughs> well, we, well, you have, I'm sorry. You, know, you, you can't stand on the side of people. You can't, not when, not when this government is doing this to our people what they are. You can't stand on the sidelines. And if you do, don't comment, to be honest, because this is, this is a struggle. You know, the cutbacks that are going on right the way across the country in terms of support for people are horrendous. And, and it's no good moaning about it if you're not going to do something about it. So that's why, and the best way of doing anything about it is join the party. Because when we go to government, what we want to do is take this manifesto and just implement it. Now, what we're, we're preparing for government now, and one of the issues for us is the work that we've got to do in all the different government departments that we want to take over, we've got to um, embed within their thinking the, the whole objectives of the manifesto around neurodiversity. And to be frank, we're at a very early stage in that. And it is about changing people's whole attitude, their whole outlook to this issue, <coughs> but then working it through to the detail of policy making in each department. 
and that's where we're at. So in this coming period, what we want to try and do is bring people in again, meet with our individual front bench teams, <coughs> talk about neurodiversity and how does it affect them, and in what role it affects them, and what they can do about it. And then we then build the manifesto into almost like an implementation manual for the policies that got in. That's a hell of a lot of work. And it ranges across all departments. Everyone thinks, well, the individual departments are, aren't relevant. The transport department isn't relevant. Yes, it is. Janine will tell you that we had a, a young lad who was on the spectrum, kept on passing all the exams for London Underground, if you remember. Couldn't, but they wouldn't let him, they would not let him become a tube driver because he was on the spectrum. And yet he was perfectly, I and mean, eventually you won, Jenny, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And got it was a real great as was that train. So that every department has a role to play in all of this. The Home Office, in terms of neurodiversity and how it goes about, in terms of what the policing, but also in prisons and probation and all the rest of it, there's large numbers of people who've been locked up in the past because they're neurodiverse and people don't understand the, 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 the way in which they relate to the, to, to the rest of the world. Now, again, I think we've got a hell of a lot of work to do on that, but uh, what you've got is the commitment of quite a large number of Labour MPs now, and of course the trade union movement as well. Mm. Having Mark Salock as the president mm. of the TUC is absolutely critical to us now. Uh, I never thought they'd let Mark anywhere near the place, but you know, <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> now he's there, we, we can use him as an advocate on our behalf, as well as Austin and Janine within their own individual unions as well. So I actually think we're on the cusp of a huge breakthrough here if we, if we put the work in. And that's why I'm a bit harsh about joining the party because there's so much to do. There's, in some instances, in some areas, in some fields, there's so few of us. But again, we'll, from my perspective, from Thelma and I and the Treasury team, and we can throw our weight about a bit in terms of the Treasury power, but obviously we've got to find the resources as well because quite a lot of this is going to require resourcing. But I just think now we're on the edge of some, a huge breakthrough in understanding, but also in terms of implementation when, when, we, when we go into government. I, when we keep on going on about transformative politics, if we only, to be honest, if we only implemented a third of this, it would transform a huge number of people's lives. It really would be a breakthrough. And that's the commitment we've given. Thanks a lot.